Yo, what's up guys? Y'all see the title, man. As y'all can see today, we're gonna be playing a little game. What is this called, Antony? It's called We're Really Not Strangers, but we mm. dive into the deepest depths of our souls. <laughs> that sounds scary. Let's okay. go then, okay, baby? Okay. We'll get started with you. Okay. What's the most loving thing you've done for yourself recently? Have sex with you. Hey, yo! Um, for me, it is, um, it's not of that stature. <laughs> um, really rededicating myself to my disciplines because I feel like we all go through this period of like, Wanting to achieve the goals, we want the blessing, but we don't do the work for it. Yeah. What about something physical? What, what do you mean? Like something physical you've done for yourself recently? Like that I love about that's loving. Um, I don't. I get my hair done a lot. Like I like to keep my physical appearance. Like I like to be very like well kept. I gotta I get my hair done. I get my hair cut. <laughs> and um, stuff like that. Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. I got a haircut too, by the way, guys. Look at this. Look at this. He got one today. Yeah. It's fresh. Yeah. Wait, Val, I want you to answer that too then. Wait, before me, you haven't answered it. Yeah, I know you were kidding. Like, there's no way that's it. Okay, the most <laughs> that was loving good. thing that I've done for myself Dark recently. Dark Secrets, you've seen the thumbnail in the title. <laughs> watch movies, like you and I watch movies every night and I feel like that's really rewarding. But it says that. for yourself, not for Val. But yeah, but it's something for myself too. Cause like, I feel like with Jacob, like he used to not like watch movies. He used to always just want to work and just like be working. So I feel like that's like how he's saying it's kind of like a reward for him. Oh, uh, cause yeah, you're kind of like relaxed and like chill. How consistent have you been like when it comes to like working? Like, do you feel like you work every day? Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, you kind of like okay, I'm chill. Mm -hmm. Saturdays are date days and Sundays are Sabbath family days. Oh. Yeah, but Sabbath too. This is family day right here, family. Okay. Uh, I think I think the person that has a car shouldn't answer. At all? Okay. Yeah. Then you just, go. Yeah. I know. I just want to see what she said. What she's gonna say. All right, my turn. Let's see what this card is. Y'all. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Level three. Take a selfie. Save it for memories. Take it. Are no, you? plus three. Because this is a friendship one. So okay, 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 okay. So this is not relationship. We'll pop it up so. on the screen. Is relationship more different? Yeah, we have the relationship, but it's yeah, it's a lot different. Is it like, like intense? Like, what do you love most about me, or like, what's your favorite memory? Like, yeah, I can get intense too. Bro, my big head. Pop them up on the screen, man. Y'all see the pictures, man. Fly, 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 fly. Say fly, it so you know which one you want. Oh, uh, you know, Felucci made the cut. All right, okay, that was good. Arantini, go ahead. When was the last time you were a bad friend? What could you have done differently? I'll go because I feel like I have a good answer. Um, I don't, I. Can't think of a specific time, but I really suck at replying back to messages. I suck at calling my friends. All of my best friends live in Miami, like my girl best friends. So it's very hard to like call up on them. I just really suck in that aspect of like just checking up on my friends. If you guys know me, I suck at replying back to messages. So I feel like that's where I can be better at too. That's a good answer. That's friends. a pretty good answer to be honest. What did you do to Jose? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't see, I can't think of anything. Like I don't. I can't think of anything that I've done that I've been like, man, like, I shouldn't have done that. Hey, I'm just a good friend. What can I say, you know me? Harrington, you think too much. <laughs> Both players draw their best idea for matching tattoos. 30 seconds and share. Ready? Yeah. In three, two, one. That's it, that's it, that's it. Hey, no more, no more. I'm trying to zoom in. All right, Harrington, you want to show yours first? Yes. Look at mine. Oh, oh a J and an A? Have you ever seen like those tags, like those rock star tags? They have the thing where it's like the mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Like J and A, like that. I kind of see that. That is actually out. really cool. Yeah. They just came up with that. Yeah, I really uh, like the J and the A though. Okay, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is more like complex, like. Okay. Boom. I <laughs> that. That's cool. <laughs> It's intriguing. It looks way better you know what, it's in my mind, not gonna lie. It's intriguing. <laughs> Baby, you came up that so quick. Wait, well, why people say like, oh my god, that's very, like, complacent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's one. Why are you looking at like, my... That was so cool, babe. Alright, it's my turn, right? Yeah. Level three. What's something I don't give myself enough credit for? Go no, first. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I feel like I don't give myself enough credit for just living. <laughs> I feel like I'm so hard on myself on a lot of things, like every aspect of life. And just, I feel like I don't give myself enough credit for like the growth that I've done. Like, I feel like I'm always like, oh, like I'm still stuck in the same spot, but like I'm not the same person or I'm not in the same situation that I was in even a, a year ago. So that's something. 
That was like my answer. Like I was gonna say, um, I don't give myself credit for how nice I am to people. Mm -hmm. like I feel like I'm a very nice person. Like I, as much as I joke around and I'm sarcastic, like I know deep down like my intentions are very nice. Yo, turn. It's oh, my turn. It's Arrington's turn. Well, you ain't that in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest part about making new friends for you? I feel like with me, it's not hard. I feel like I make new friends all the time. I feel like we, we both make friends, but what's hard for me like is that I'm scared to put myself out there because I'm scared to get hurt. That's and so real. I'm so scared to get hurt. I'm so scared for people to just use me and just like step all over me because I'm just way too nice and like, I don't know. I'm just, I just get really scared. So I just always stick with my friends, but I'm not opposed to making new friends. Like I love meeting new people. I love, I love that, but I just, I'm scared to open up fully, like a hundred percent, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause when I think like about a friend- Like the more crazier side, like you, yeah. that you show like- And like, yeah, like when I think about a friend, yeah. I think about somebody that you trust with your whole heart, like that you love, that you can grow with, like somebody that, you know, just not like an acquaintance, you know? Mm -hmm. But I love meeting people. Like we, we've been to so many new people here in Houston. I love all of them, but little by little, you know, I like let my walls down and be able to trust people more. But yeah, that was my answer. Little by little. Yeah, little by little. Back to you, oh, ma'am. Yeah. What are you still processing? I feel like I'm always still constantly processing the fact that I have my dream job. Feels unreal every now and then. Yeah, it's true. I agree with that. I feel like for me, this is probably like a more darker turn. But I feel like for me, I'm still like processing like stuff that was done to me like in my childhood. That like when you're younger, I feel like you kind of like disassociate and you kind of suppress it down. But I feel like more recently, certain things have been coming back up and memories have been popping back up that mm -hmm. would awaken in me like a trauma I didn't even know I had. Yeah. So I feel like trying to navigate that and trying to give my younger self language to process and express what that looks like and how and what that actually was and saying like how messed up certain things were. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm processing that more as I like become more of an adult and I'm like healing with my inner child at the same time. Yeah, that's good. I was, that's a really good I was going to say yeah. that if I had to answer it too. Yeah, so mm. basically like processing childhood trauma. trauma. Yeah, I remember someone saying that something along the lines of like, God can heal you not only in the present, but God can go back in your past and heal you. Yeah. To where you almost don't even experience the same emotion or memories from that time because mm -hmm. you can heal from it. Yeah. So I feel like that's why I, like, I look at uh, pressing to God when it comes to stuff like that too, to be able to not only like, Help me, but it's some stuff that was probably done to me that I don't understand, that I never will understand or get the why behind. Yeah. But I can trust in him and know that since he is so good mm -hmm. and healing and miraculous that he's with me every step of the way, but he's also helping me become better emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Mm -hmm. That's wow. so good. Yeah, yeah. Somebody out there needed to hear that. Yeah, for real. That was good, Arrington. Your turn, baby. What have you seen me change over time? What hasn't changed at all? What I've seen you change over time is your anger like angry in what way and what you like we like i'm done Boom. <laughs> <laughs> i feel like not just in the relationship but like just like in like other places like can i say the whole car thing that happened one time in, in la i was in the car jaco was in the car right we were driving i forgot what it was that like he beeped at somebody and the person <laughs> got mad like the guy got mad Tell me how they were like beeping each other, like cussing each other out. This is before he, like he knew Jesus, my Jesus, this is before Christ, BC. So then, whatever, he started beeping and the guy, like they started going at it and then Jacob was like, what, what? Like, come on, bro, come on. Like, let's fucking, Jacob goes out of the car and the guy comes out of the car and Jacob's like this and the guy's like this. I ended up, I was like posting up, but I was just like back up, back up and back up. Backing up. <laughs> He saw that I wasn't about it, that I didn't want to fight him, so he just like got back in his car and he drove away. You missed a big part though. When he was backing up and he was like, nah, bro, like nacho, whatever, the guy went to Jaco's car and punched it. Like he left a dent. It's still, it's yeah, still on his car. He slammed it with his hand like that. And that was in Los Angeles, guys. That was in here in Houston, just to let you know, because Houston people, are, I feel like, are <laughs> way worse. Like they'll shoot yeah, you. Yeah, Houston people don't fight. And they're going to be right in jail. <laughs> they're gonna be right in jail okay so yeah your anger for sure babe. like you you're you don't get angry no more hey <laughs> all i gotta say is oh god man you feel me god dude oh i haven't even answered it Did yeah uh-huh go i feel like i've seen you develop more as like a leader you're you definitely have more of like a leader mentality than you were before at first you just it's not that you weren't a leader you just didn't really care yeah like that just wasn't a priority of yours but I feel like now, even when it comes to God, but even when it comes to just 
how to live with integrity and character. Like, I just feel like a lot of people do look up to you in that regard, even if you know it or don't know it. Ooh, level two is always good. Reminder, take time to process the good things too. Okay, another one, another one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you guys wouldn't really know this. I distance myself when. Oh, like what do you distance yourself? From? When people are gossiping. I feel like you talk about that a lot. I, I, try, I like, try. Yeah, yeah you try to. I be forgetting, I be just, be, I be yapping. <laughs> like, I don't know what y'all know about me because I don't know how much I've told y'all. But I don't care to know because like I'm just a vulnerable person anyway. Yeah. I feel like you distance yourself when you're hurt. Say somebody says something, even if it's unintention, unintentional, but it hurts you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're the type to like. Yeah, I'll be like just okay. remove yourself. Cause like I, I don't have that. Pa I don't have the like not the patience, but like I'm not gonna go and try to change somebody and be like, hey, like unless you're a friend of mine that I know that you care about me, you 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 would care like if you do or say something that is offensive. To me, at least. Yeah. But if I don't know you enough and you just think that you're just too cool and all that, I don't care to go and talk to you. I just won't talk to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all are right. I mean, kind of. Was I right too? I think yeah, you talked about you that right, a lot. Yeah. Like, you try not to put yourself in like places where people gossip and stuff. Yeah, especially when it's like heavy, heavy because it's, yeah. it's the spirit and I rebuke it. Oh, this is cute. Okay. What's something that reminds you of me? Like butterfly bows, dance, mm -hmm. ballet shoes, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of things. A lot of we things. No, wait. Marriage, wedding. Because I feel like that was always like this. <laughs> That's my girl. Though. I get it. I get it though. Like I'm not like I stand you. Because the girls I get it get. And yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that was gonna show y'all. Yeah. Like when I think of that, I think of like wedding gown, white flowers, pixie <laughs> dust. Like, look, show them your screensaver. Um, Andrew, put the screensaver in. Make sure you screenshot it. <laughs> screenshot. Screenshot. <laughs> Yeah, I love being a wife, and when I'm a mom, I'll never shut up about it too. Like, I would be my baby, my baby, my baby, and my baby daddy, my baby daddy, my baby daddy. And Paluki, <laughs> call Paluki over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's and sleep, then... he's sleep. No, he, let him lay down. He's yeah, sleep. he's tired. He needs to nap. All right, baby, your turn. A lot of things. McDonald's, I feel like white, just the color white reminds mm -hmm. me of you. Is this your favorite color? I love white. My favorite color is pink, though, but yeah. I love white too. Like, that's you know, the color. I think I just think white, clean. Nice smell, butterflies, white flowers, wedding, everything. <laughs> like like wedding, wedding, veil, <laughs> sambas, <laughs> cargos. <laughs> there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of basic. I, when I think about it, I just think of like this dance move. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so good. All right, your turn, baby. Which one of my Instagram posts best describes who I really am? Oh, that's interesting. This one. Oh, girl, girl, girl. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I uh, what is really good? Um, 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 can I get a number um, of one, um, one, um, What thing about me? It's so crazy. It's so hot. No, that one makes sense. No, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that one's very. Oh, I'm looking at this one. <laughs> and this one. You just be weird. Like, you're just weird and crazy. Like, what is that? Like, what are your feet doing? That's one of my favorite pictures. Jacob is so funny, guys. Like, he does not care. I appreciate you, man. What? You're me. Appreciate you. Hey, is he in Level three. Level three. What's a habit of mine that you're inspired by? <gasps> oh, the, where can I start? You're always reading. I love that you just be like had it have a habit of just always reading. I don't know if you wake up early, but whenever I see you on Instagram or something, you're just always up and praying and reading the Bible and just doing all that. I'm like, yes. How about you, baby? I don't really know if this is a habit or just a quality of yours, but like how uplifting you are and yes. like energetic. Like right now I'm like this. You would be like hips, hips, hips. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally just me like energy drink, no energy drink. But I could do that at any time of the day. <laughs> I know, and I love that. But what I will say is that my if I could put my personality into a, a package, it's literally when you're making pasta noodles and you're trying to see if it's soft enough and you throw it up against the wall and see if it sticks or not. That's how I film content. If it, if it flops, it flops. It'll fall uh, to the ground. But if it sticks, best believe, five million views. Thank you, him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, last round, guys. Martina's gonna go ahead and get it started. What do you need brutally honest advice about? I'm gonna go first. You are trying. Don't beat yourself up if it's not done tomorrow. 
if the YouTube is not at a million subscribers by tomorrow, if you're not leading the women's group in pastoring by tomorrow, it is okay. You make this tiny effort and you're doing more than you think you are. Just the simple fact that you want to change is literally an ingredient that the Holy Spirit is working in your life. That's good. I like that. That was the we were talking about yesterday, last night. Babe? I would say slow motion is better than no motion. If you're working at least a little bit harder every day to become better at whatever you want to become mm -hmm. better at, it's better than you not trying at all. I remember um, I read in um, Hope to Be Found by Sarah Jakes Roberts, get the book. She said it's better to have expectation for something than to stop believing altogether. Mm, that's good. Because expectation will at least give you the motivation you need to move you to a place. And even if it's not this high level of hope, it's better than having no hope at all. At least having hope that you can change. Mm -hmm. It's better than you kind of like just living life saying like, I'll try this, but it may not work. Yeah. More so than giving yourself the space to believe in yourself and to actually manifest the goal that you're trying to do and bring it to fruition into your actual life is, I feel like a good thing is to remember to have. Yeah. Little hope is better than no hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same. That's good. Thank you guys. That's good. That's good. Oh, what made you smile today? So a question for both of you guys. What made you smile today? Um, a lot of things actually. Yesterday I talked to Arrington at night. He told me that I at least need to have like two goals set for the day because I feel like I overwork myself in my brain. It's like I need to do like 10 million things. So he's like, at least do two things. So I made my bed this morning because your girl has to make her bed. And I read with Arrington and I made me smile because I love reading and I'm just really addicted to this thing right here. And I don't do a lot of stuff that I love because of that. So yeah. All right, babe, how about you? Oh wait, no, Arrington. Oh, maybe smile today. Seeing Santi <laughs> like not buy the car, but seeing him stand next to both of the things that I see him work hard for, like made me like very like, uh -huh. uh, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, that is good. That's a good one. Love our friends. That's a good one. Too. All right, okay, your turn. My Last turn card. My turn for oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's an exciting change you've been seeing in yourself, big or small? So that's a personal goal of the intrinsic <laughs> values of you and you. I feel like I'm becoming less lazy and less depressed and anxious and stuff. Like I still deal with those stuff, but I feel like I have more like willpower. I think that's how you would say. Like I feel like I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going through this, but I'm gonna still post on TikTok. I'm gonna still do my brand deals. I'm gonna still, you know, like I'm not yeah. like being a victim to myself that's my a little by little every day. Yeah, I still cry about it. Like it's still like hard, <laughs> but like I'm not like like why me like why like you know i don't do that no more and i feel like i used to do that so much so that's something that is really exciting change for me because girl your you know anxiety be just stopping you from your full potential so i need to get that girl out of my chest out of my body to reach my full potential so that's really exciting because little by little i'm gonna be anxiety free that's so real Deliver Man, i think recently i've been that's hard on myself yeah I've been, really, I've been really good with that. Are you normally hard on yourself? Oh. oh yeah, I'm like really, really hard on myself. But recently I've learned to like be less hard on myself and allow myself more relaxing time mm -hmm. and more like I uh, allow myself to game a little bit every now and then. Mm -hmm. I allow mm -hmm. myself- Now that was, was going to pick up the slack. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to be the one that's how you were. <laughs> but yeah, I love that you that you're like that. Like he literally game the other night since like till like five in the morning, and I was sleeping. But I love that for him because usually he'd be like, no, I have to go to sleep at this time because I have to wake up early and do this, 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 and this. But you need to have fun. What are you sometimes. normally mostly doing? Like what are you? What is your like disciplines? Is it the stuff we talked about already earlier? Yeah, it's not really a routine. Like it's not always the same. But like I'm either like planning videos or writing scripts for TikTok or filming the scripts that I've written for TikTok. Probably. Editing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Natalie Stuff like that. <laughs> but all right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video, man. This is so fun. This was one of my favorite videos because of how cozy it is. Yeah. I feel like we're just laying back, chilling. Yeah, we're not acting like hooligans. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, we're just being ourselves, just mm -hmm. talking to you guys. So. Thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far, please comment this emoji so I know that you're a real one. That I emoji. love you guys so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. We're so close to how much? 100,000 subscribers. So close to 100K, guys. We're gonna see if we can reach 100K before the year ends. Oh, We're gonna start funny. posting way more so that we can meet that goal. But with that being said, bye, y'all. Peace. <laughs>